Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, it's good to be here. Let me just find my, it's right here. I was going to describe to you at this time a messy world. But instead of describing the, 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 the messy world, I'm going to show you. So that's what we're going to see right now. I don't know why the, the audio is, is not in this video, but it, it's okay, it's fine. Oh boy, can you imagine that? A life without Facebook? <laughs> no way. Without computer, light, electrical power? Kind of hard, isn't it? I was there. I used to live in Miami. And for two weeks, we had no electrical power at all. It was amazing. Actually, at, the, at this time, at this day, there was a miracle in our apartment. In, uh, our apartment was the only one that had no windows broken in our condo. All the others had windows broken, so people could see there was something special there. Jesus was there with us, and we were praying while this messy thing was going on outside. It's good to be with the Lord. Can you believe that there's, there was a time that there was no light, no electrical power at all? The Bible tells us that. Genesis 1 says, the world was formless and void, empty of everything. And then God comes and he says, let there be light. And then, from then on, light has been here among us. Throughout the whole Old Testament, we have this representation of the light of God among us. And it was wonderful for the people of Israel to have God represented by the light over there, reminding them that He is the light. Then we have Jesus, and Jesus comes. And in John 8, verse 12, He says, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. But now comes the catch. In Matthew 5, verses 14 to 16, Jesus himself says, You are like light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, it is put on the lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before people so that they will see good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. Wait a minute. Who is the light of the world? Jesus or us? Kind of hard to understand this concept. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And now he himself comes and says, you are the light of the world. What's going on here? First of all, let's understand this passage. The passage says, a city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. First of all, the lamp Jesus is talking about is not this one that we know. That's not the lamp he's talking about. Because if you get this lamp right here and puts this one under a bowl, what's going to happen here? Nobody will see the lamp. And that's what usually we understand by this passage, but that's not what Jesus is talking about. Jesus is not talking about the flashlight. Jesus is talking about this lamp over here. That's the lamp of his day. And in this lamp, the difference is you had oil inside of the lamp and fire right here. 
And if you get this lamp over here under a bowl, it's not that only nobody will see the, the, the light, but you're going to actually extinguish the fire. The light will go off. You're going to kill the fire. That's what Jesus is talking about. So first, he says, get your lamp on a high place. Shine the world around you. But what does it mean to shine around me? What is this lamp Jesus is talking about that I have inside of my heart? What is this? He himself explains here that. He says, in the same way your light must shine before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. What's this thing that I am the light, Jesus is the light? Now, here comes the thing. To understand this concept, I brought you here a vase. This is alabaster. It comes from Egypt. Alabaster stone is very beautiful. Can you see that? It's really beautiful. And sometimes if you get the same color, you can get confused with marble. This is marble, but it's, it's white. Th that's what my wife uses for garlic in my house. So this is marble. This is actually more expensive because it's hard, double the price, but it's solid rock. The big difference between them is that this one, alabaster, is softer, but it's translucent. That's the beautiful thing about alabaster. And now I'm going to show you something. Can I ask for someone else's help? Turn off the lights completely. Yep. No one's going to hurt you. Okay, we have this light over here that if I get under, I mean, inside of the marble, you can see some light there, right? Yeah. You can see some light there. But actually, if I get the, the black spots and stuff and it's a dark marble, you can see nothing. It's really hard. It's a hard rock. Now look at the difference. This is alabaster. That's the beautiful thing about alabaster. And uh, when Jesus says, you are the light of the world, that's what he's saying. He's saying that when people look at you, they will see light. And it's beautiful. The darker the more beautiful. If you turn on the light, you're not going to see as beautiful as you see it now. When you are in a messy world, you are supposed to be more beautiful, like this. But the light doesn't come from the alabaster. Have you noticed that? The light comes from an external source. Here's the source of light. Jesus is the source of your light. The light doesn't come from you. But when the, the light of heaven, the real light, when it shines inside of an alabaster heart, it's bright and beautiful. But if your heart is like marble, then you got like a solid rock. It doesn't shine the way it does here. It's interesting, the light effect. If I'm talking to you, for example, and I go like this, it's impossible for you to keep looking at me. Everybody's looking at the light right now. <laughs> Stop looking at the light. Look at me. Come on. It's kind of hard, isn't it? If you are the light, you, you can turn on the light. Thank you. If you are a light around you, you are going to catch everybody's attention. Everybody will look at you. It's impossible not to look at the light, especially when you're in a dark world. 
What have you done around you? What have you done around you? The things that you, that you are doing, your attitude, your words, everything speaks against or for the light of heaven. But what, what can I do to shine this light? Do I have something good in me, myself? Is it, is it okay if I just look for the good things inside of me? Do I have something good inside? Now I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm going to tell you now. It's not the light of heaven when you do something good. Because a lot of people are doing good things around us without Jesus in their heart. So if you do something good, it's not enough. You have to do something good without a selfish desire, selfish intention. That's the hard thing. And that can only be accomplished if you have Jesus in your heart. And I'm going to give you an example. A friend of mine, uh, three, four months ago, I had to go to Grand Rapids, and I, I, I was going to fly to Florida. I had to do evangelism there. My family was there, and I, I, I had no financial condition to leave my car at the airport because I was going to spend about a month and a half in Florida, and I could not park my car at the airport. That would be too expensive for me. So I, 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 I needed someone to take me there and drive me to Grand Rapids Airport. And I was praying to God to send an angel because I, I would like to come to someone and ask like a favor. I would like someone to come and offer that for me. So I was praying to God for that. And out of the blue, a man, a friend of mine, he came and he asked me, are you going to Grand Rapids Airport? I said, yes. I want to drive you there. I was like, really? Okay, just pause a little bit and let me give you the, the whole context so you can understand what, what's going on here. You probably knew him. He's out there now. He's working in California. He's Denilson. Danny, the big guy who used to play piano here. His wife was pregnant. He used to live in La Porte, which is one hour south. <coughs> so when he offered that, he had realized that he had to drive one hour north, get me here, and I was supposed to leave my house at 6.30 in the morning. So he woke up probably 5, 5.30 in the morning, his wife and him. He drove to Barron Springs. He got me here, and he drove me up one hour and 40 minutes north to Grand Rapids to do nothing there but drop me off at the airport. He had nothing to do there. He was not going to, to the, the supermarket, oh, so then I take you there too. He, he didn't have to do anything there. He simply did everything to help someone else, not himself. He didn't have anything in exchange for that. He dropped me off at the airport, drove back to Barron Springs, his wife, drove to Barron Springs to get him back here, and they drove back home. To do something good for someone is not just to be a good person. You don't, that, that's not what Jesus asked you, just to go around and do good things. That's not what he's saying here. To shine the light of heaven is to let his goodness, his kindness shine in your heart then you're going to love your brother and your sister. Then you're going to look at others and see, what good can I do for you? It doesn't matter if I will receive something in exchange or not. What matters here is that you will receive something good. I will see you happy because I love you. I don't love me. And this is something it's impossible for us. Just from the light of God. He is the source of all good. 
He is the source only. He cannot come from us. What are you doing, my friend, in your world? What am I doing in my world? This experience with, with Danny spoke a lot in my heart. What am I doing to my friends around me every day? I pass by people. They need to hear. They need to see. They need to see Jesus. And Jesus is not here. He sent me and you to do his job right here, right now. We are supposed to shine his light. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all the blessings you have poured on us abundantly. Thank you so much for the privilege you gave us to shine your light throughout the whole world around us. Thank you, Father, for all the people you have put around us today. Help us to have a heart made of alabaster to shine beautifully to you. We love you, Father. We want to be used by you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.